Hello YouTubers. This is what I call the two capacitor solution paradox. Okay? So we know and any any like uh, charge capacitor charge calculator or formula will tell you that you're uh, missing half of the energy from transferring energy from one capacitor to another or any DC source including a battery so when you're transferring charge from a battery or energy from a battery to a capacitor okay we're apparently losing 50% of our energy because we're left with 50% of our energy in the form of a quarter here and a quarter here what's half that's half the energy but <clears throat> It's only because we don't we account for it by saying that we're losing energy in the heating of the wires okay but if we stick a load in between the two then that's actually the other half of the energy and we now we can see 50% uh, of the energy that was apparently lost well you can't lose energy that's like saying you can destroy energy when we can't destroy energy we can only transform it uh, but we can't destroy nor create it but this is half the energy and the other half is left over here as a quarter here and a quarter here so if we charge this capacitor up from this battery 50 percent of the energy flows through our load here uh, and we're left with a quarter here and then a quarter here all right. So when we run our load from a quarter of our energy, now we're putting back a quarter of the energy right here. So this is actually 75% of the energy, and then we're left with 25 over here, which is a total of 100%. So I got it set on 12 volts basically uh, from the battery. And I'm going to go back and forth and to show you that it's pretty much the same energy passing back and forth from the battery and then from the capacitor. And it looks like this. So that's from the battery, from the capacitor, from the battery, the capacitor. I'm just doing it like this from the battery to the capacitor, from the battery to the capacitor, from the battery. Uh, I don't know why that beeped. So, what we're doing, uh, to sum it up, is we're transferring 50% of the energy from the battery through the motor. And then we're storing a quarter of the energy here, and we're left with a quarter of the energy here. So a quarter and a quarter makes half. We're left with half the energy. The other half shows up in our load. Uh, so... That's what's happening there. But I would like to show you this. When we discharge our capacitor back through our load, like this, look, look at that. What would you call that then? We got this uh, rebound effect uh, charging our capacitor up. Nothing's connected. Nothing's connected. And we've already passed and got work from 50% of our energy going through our load from our battery to our capacitor and left with half of the energy. So that's almost pretty much 50% of the energy or 100, I'm sorry. And we still have this. And this can get up to about half a volt or 500 millivolts on top of what's supposedly 100% of the energy contained in this system right here. And so this is open. This is completely open. And we got this little uh, millivolt gain going on here. And so what would you call that? If we've already got 100% of the energy contained right here. And then plus this. Same thing with the light. Uh, let's do that next. Okay, so... Now we're going to show this with a light as a load, a little incandescent bulb here. And we're just going to go back and forth from the battery, from the capacitor, from the battery, from the capacitor. 
and you can see that's the uh, capacitor. This is the battery, the capacitor, the battery, the capacitor. And this is to show that it's pretty much the exact same energy, which doesn't seem right because we know that from the battery to the capacitor, there should be a quarter of the energy left here, but it appears to be the same. It's half the energy. It looks like it's exactly the same, don't it? And what kind of sense does that make? Like that. It's like I'm just switching back and forth to the capacitor. But not only that, since I've disconnected that completely, we still have this going on. So, this is why I call it the, uh, the, uh, two capacitor solution paradox. Alright, so if you're new to my channel, uh, please subscribe, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.